I've been spraying all of my reptiles with acid. This is the story about how I was set on fire and I discovered something that would change my reptile keeping forever. A few months ago, I was given Lucillin. It's a wound disinfecting spray for reptiles. At first, I used it casually on a few minor issues with my reptiles, but then life threw me a curveball. My barber set me on fire and I ended up in hospital with burns. Now, if I couldn't recover fast and get back to my reptiles, we could be in trouble. Then I had the idea to use the Lucillin on myself. The doctor said that my head would take a full month to recover, but Lucillin had me recovered in 10 days. To everyone's shock, including my doctors, the burns on the side of my head were cleared in 10 days. And it's at this point I realized I wasn't just holding a spray in my hands anymore, I was holding a game changer. Since then I've used Lucillin for my reptiles in all sorts of ways. This leopard gecko I've taken on had some necrosis on her toes. Sadly this girl's toes were too far gone, but the spray has kept her toe nice and clean as we wait for that dead tissue to drop off. This gecko had a small wound after a fight and Lucillin cleared that right up. It doesn't hurt and it's 100% safe. Even, and wait for it, for frogs. It's antibacterial, it's antiviral, it's antifungal. It's 300 times more effective than bleach and bacteria does not grow immune to it. It's madness. Now the reason that this is so good is because it's hypochlorous acid. It's what our white blood cells secrete in our immune systems. And it doesn't matter if it's ingested because it's a natural product in our bodies. It's so effective that in World War I, the military used it in the field to disinfect wounds and treat chemical burns. But there was a problem. Back then, they could only achieve a shelf life of 5 to 25 hours. Nowadays, this can have a maximal shelf life of two years if you keep it cool and dark, making it the perfect first aid tool for our reptiles. Typically, we use iodine to clean reptile wounds, but it stains everything requires you to apply it manually with a cotton wool pad, and it can affect the thyroid function and amphibians. With Lucillin, you can spray an animal from far away and not worry about it getting everywhere. It can go in eyes, water bowls, wherever, and have no negative effect and not stain a thing. It's perfect if something isn't handling friendly or it's even venomous. And you can actually use it on amphibians. It's also great for burns. If God forbid an accident does occur, you can treat your reptiles and yourself personally tested that one. The thing that takes this spray from a now and then kind of like first aid spray and to a game changer for everyday use is the other things that Lucillin can do. Lucillin removes hard watermarks from glass. Typically you either take a blade to hard watermarks or people use lemon juice or some other DIY method. Lucillin can be sprayed without worry if something like a gecko licks it and it even has the potential to improve gecko foot health by cleaning the walls. And what's the one thing geckos are used to? Us spraying their tanks. Even something like misting systems, you could soak the nozzles in Lucillin to unclog them. Or you could even put Lucillin in the reservoir, have the nozzles facing back into the reservoir, and run Lucillin through a misting system system so that it eats away at the bacteria growing on the inside and gets rid of that biofilm, and takes away all the hard water marks that are clogging it. Now there are other products that you can use for that, or you can use something like vinegar, but then you're worrying about what's left in the system and spraying that into enclosures. And things like vinegar kills plants. Lucillin is fine for everything. When incubating reptiles, sometimes eggs can go moldy. And an old school trick is to put some athlete's foot powder on the moldy part of an egg. Now you can just spray it with Lucillin. The real kicker is this, Lucillin kills nidovirus. And it will help you ensure that you're not transferring positive nidovirus from adults into the next generation. It even kills chytrid fungus, so it's perfect for amphibian keepers that don't want to use harsh chemicals. And then it doesn't even matter if Lucillin goes in the water. Even something like you want to disinfect feeding tongs in between feeding different snakes, give it a spray of Lucillin. Over time, these will rust, so I'd recommend using like rubber tipped ones to disinfect the rubber and not the metal, but it works either way. Lucillin disinfects upon contact. Now, this is the big thing that I think most reptile keepers 
do not realise. A lot of disinfectants need a contact time before it even actually disinfects things. Many people think things like F10, you can spray it on a water bowl and wipe it away and move on. But actually, if you look at the back of the bottle, F10 needs a contact time of 15 minutes before it even actually kills things like bacteria. So unless you're actually spraying something and making sure that it stays wet with F10 for 15 whole minutes, you aren't disinfecting anything. You might as well spit and shine and clean a water bowl that way. With Lucillin, it kills upon contact. Do you want to spray your hands in between handling animals? Lucillin. Lucillin actually is a spray and wipe deal. And for those of you that are business owners, it doesn't require cost training because it isn't dangerous. I wouldn't let a child get hold of it and drink it, but if they did, nothing's going to happen. You saw me spray it in my mouth. It's absolutely fine. So if you're a parent who's worried about what chemicals you're using and a kid might get hold of like your disinfectants, this stuff doesn't matter. There is going to be 101 different ways that reptile keepers are going to find uses for Lucillin over time. Of course, Lucillin are only actually selling it as a wound disinfectant spray, but you know the reptile hobby. We're going to find so many uses for this, it's crazy. I actually fell over yesterday and I hit the concrete outside and I cut up my hand. And as soon as I got off the floor, my brain was like, I put some Lucillin on it. So I've incorporated it into my life now. Like even just, not only the reptiles, but like when I hurt myself, instantly I'm like, let's spray that on my wounds. When I say this is a must have for every reptile keeper and I really, really mean that. I am so hyped on what this actually is and what it can do. You buy it once and it can last for two years and it is absolutely great value for what it is. Ready for when you need it in your reptile first aid kit or for those of you that are gonna find a way to use it every single day in your reptile keeping. If you're in the US, it's only available through Amazon so I'll put links down below. If you're in the UK, you can already buy this from Pets at Home or you can ask your local reptile shop to stock it. The trade suppliers for our local reptile shops want to see demand from reptile keepers before they're going to stock it for the shops. So make yourself heard. Ask for it. If you're serious about reptile husbandry, this is an 11 out of 10 purchase. This is one of the few things that I've reviewed where I'm like, this is a must buy. This isn't a nice to have. It's a must buy buy it. I'm so hyped for what I think this is going to do for the reptile industry and I genuinely love this product for recovering both my animals and myself when I was set on fire. I'll see you in the next video.